Good morning, everybody. Um, I just woke up maybe an hour ago. And before I went to bed last night, <clears throat> um, a friend of mine, Peniel from the chat, said to me, I hope you get some sleep tonight because I haven't been sleeping. And I just had this feeling of, I said, I just feel like I'm expecting something. I have this anticipation and I think that's partly something's happening. It's partly why I can't sleep. It's like my soul knows something. My body's trying to sleep, but my soul is like, whew, so much going on. Anyway, just before I was falling asleep last night, I got an email from my friend Richard. And him and his, um, his wife used to live here. And it was back in the day when my husband was at the music academy in Guildford. And me and my friend also, she was there too. And we used to um, write our own songs. And we were into church at the time and we would call them prophetic songs, which is the same ability of intuition or psychic ability or whatever. Speaking or channeling words. And I used to do this a lot. I just used to sing and channel messages that I'd see in visions or that I'd sense. Much the same as now, but on a muted, muted tone. Anyway, I, I, a few months back, I'd remembered that we'd done this. And I'd said to them, um, where, where are the songs that we wrote? Because one of them I remember um, was called Sleeping Beauty that I had written the words to and it was basically about um <laughs> I'm getting text messages it was basically about you know briar rose and she had to go through all this um she was sleeping um and a, a knight would come and cut through all the, the roses and the brambles and get to her and then kiss her and she would wake up but in this version it was the female <laughs> it was the female and she was waking people up and getting emotional. <laughs> and when I remember writing it, it was like, that's my purpose. Um, I need to wake people up. And I'd forgotten about it. And last night, last night, he sent me this song. And I went and listened to it, and I was just gobsmacked. Like, how did, how did my soul know? How did, how did I know the song of my heart to be singing? And I used to dream about waking people up. They were sleeping and waking them up. And now here I am, like, voicing, awaken your heart, awake. Like, wake up to who you are. You are living on such a surface level or 3D, like, this is not all we are. We are not avatars in our skin, walking around, doing whatever. There's so much. And the, the, the thing that came through was like, it, it says somewhere in, uh, in the Bible, like, in my house there are many rooms. And people used to see this as very black and white and religious of, well, there's heaven and there's hell and there's good and there's bad. But it's the exploration of all this spiritual amazingness, which is essentially our home um, that we aren't exploring. We have shut down our brains. We have shut down our hearts. We have shut down the life and the abundance and the beauty and the joy and the connection of knowing that we're all one to this very ill world where we're separate and we're judging and we're closed off and we're alone and we're unable to connect in that deep way with people because the things that people are interested in are like they're almost they're they are like almost zombies just like I get up I go to work I do this I feed the kids I come home I um I, I get my money and I go on a holiday and, and then I come back and we do the same on repeat. And it's like, no, there's, there's this overflowing river of life, of beauty, of joy. 
that is ready to be experienced, to know the true essence of who we are, to feel alive, to feel love, to feel connection, to feel blissed out, to feel that, yes, I am not just this. There's so much more. It's like discovering this amazing garden that's full of all these beautiful flowers. And then going, I'm just going to shut the gate and stay here and enjoy it for myself. It's not. It's, you're like, come and have a look. <laughs> come and look what I found. Ah, oh, getting emotional. Anyway, I pulled cards. The first card that came out was this. And I thought, oh, I don't feel like I'm a hermit at the moment. This card represents having time alone, um, going in on yourself, like contemplating, and maybe a possibility. But what came through next was this. And I had it last night as well the star and I think we've been through this we've been through being hidden away in this little oh this little light of mine I'm gonna let it shine while I hide in here and now the universe is going no it's time to come out and show your true colors and to shine bright and to have your arms open that's a real that expression having your hands out that's heart open that's that's here I am. You know, when, when you have body language that does this, that's I'm hiding away, I'm insecure, I don't know who I am, I, I, I'm, I'm protecting myself. This heart open, expansive, arms open, look at me, like all the, all the colours, all the chakras are lined up, everything's fired up, everything's just... That's where we're at. That's what we're going into. And it's not just me, but I'm realizing, like the, 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 the dots are connecting. Like the way I've met this group of people, the way that my life has gone, it's been so orchestrated. Lining up the dots. And, and when I look back, I'm like, I, I knew this. I knew this even then, in here I did, but it was covered with brambles, it was covered and I was hidden in this castle, and now everything's been stripped away, we had it last night, the stripping away, to reveal me, to reveal you, you are a pillar of light, and you're going to shine, you're going to shine bright, and you're going to show people who they are, and who, how loved people are. Oh, and the thing that was coming through in these songs was you've hidden you've hidden um, the truth within my heart you've hidden things and, and, and awake help people awaken and the way that we help people awaken is through loving them it's through loving them it's through seeing them and loving them and and, and holding their hand and saying, this isn't it. You are so loved. You're so loved. And you've got so much beauty. You've got so much talent. You've got so much within you. Let's, let's find it. Let's dig for treasure. These songs were full of... Um, I was singing about sapphires and rubies. And this is way before I was into my stones, my crystals, like everything. I was like... Whoa, whoa. Don't dim to fit in. Can you see these cards? It's first thing in the morning and literally the sun is rising. I'm, I'm writing this. Oh, it's so bright. I can't see myself. Okay, so here's the message. Your life is like a seed. Your heart is a seed. And its potential has been buried in this 3D existence, in this human experience. But it's not going to grow in the earth, in the soil. The only way your light and your sprouts and your growth is going to happen is when you tap into your soul, which is essentially a spirit. There's, a, there's, a, there's something that happens where that seed gets a message time to wake up <laughs> it's time to wake up and then it will it will crack out of the, the husk the shell the seed 
and life will start to come up, up through the soils, through the soil, through this human experience, through up into the light. The light is bright. And that's, that's, I hope that's your spiritual, you know, those two worlds are different. That seed had a very different experience in the dark. Your experience is going to change when you grow. My experience has changed. And I want to share that with people. You are all seeds. We're all seeds and we're waking up. We're waking up and what is within that seed is already... The DNA of that seed is going to be a rose. It's going to be a lily. It's going to be an orchid. It's going to be a lotus. It's already in there. Who I am is already in here. Who you are is already in you. And we're waking up. (laughs) And that's going to change things. Because a a garden full of flowers is a different place than a garden full of grass. We're we're creating a new existence. A beautiful existence. I just had to share that with you this morning. Oh, I know that you'll go my love, love, they come yours My dreams, like dreams I hope one day they'll grow And I won't want to hold Your hands when it is cold Oh